Hey you guys, uh, real quick before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who's subbed so far. I'm officially three quarters of the way to partner, so I love you guys, and if you haven't subbed, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, so with that, let's get right into the video. As usual, I do the build first, so you don't have to wait to see it at the end. Uh, uh, fun fact, that actually hurts uh, my channel, um, uh, because a lot of the channels are rated on view time, and... Uh, uh, watch hours, so I'm taking a hit here giving this build to you right at the start. I just want to let you guys know that. Uh, but anyway, um, let's get right into this. Uh, chamber doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I've gone over this a lot, that the, the three chambers are pretty balanced right now. Uh, Salvo chamber is kind of a lazy one. It does, it does less potential damage than the other ones, but you can rapid fire without having to worry about positioning, so it's kind of more of a casual chamber, so that's what I'm running with. Always Captain Script. Always TAC Mag. Uh, if you're a newer player and you don't have access to TAC Mag, uh, I recommend running Lucky Magazine. Uh, just remember to use your whatever you have in your chamber when you're at zero ammunition so you get the extra damage uh, or the, the extra crit chance from the, the TAC Mag. Uh, the, the bonds right now, we only have three choices and most of them are terrible. Like all of them are terrible for one reason or another. Uh, the, the Skarn bond is okay for shield builds but if you want a, a shield build that does a lot of damage the juggernaut build that i have on my channel actually does more damage than if you run uh this weapon so uh, i'd recommend looking at my juggernaut build if you want a good defensive damage build carry back weapon has blade storm so terrible perk economy but the ability is the best and then sharpened is probably your best perk economy but the ability is trash because we're such a rapid fire weapon and we're always hitting stuff. So you're probably almost never going to see that uh, sharpened pop up. So, or I mean that uh, unique effect pop up. So for now, I'm just running Bladestorm. I mean, really, it's more of a preference thing if you want to run Bladestorm or uh, a sharpened. So just kind of uh, take your pick there. It doesn't really affect the build that much. Discipline, of course, for boops. Broadside for knockdown thresholds. And uh, Molten is top tier right now, but if you don't particularly like Molten, Cascade is almost as good. Uh, so definitely feel free to run Cascade. Uh, here's what I got slotted right here real quick if you want to copy it verbatim. Go ahead and pause that during those. Uh, just going to go over this real quick. Berserker, of course, because rapid fire weapon. Cunning is going to mix with uh, Pulse and just the, the overall and any amps we're going to pick up throughout the Escalation because this is an Escalation build. Uh, well, at least it's meant for that. Uh, we got Overpower, of course, because we're a part break weapon and we're going to get excuse me, a lot of those part breaks. Uh, unfortunately, the Blade Storm from the weapon, which is kind of trash, and the Molten from the Lantern. You don't really need Tonics for this. Uh, just kind of bring whatever you want. This is, I usually have these slotted for in case I'm doing an underpowered run, but, uh, I mean, you never know when you might need a cleansing pylon. So, I'm just going to kind of start this off and show you guys uh, how this build performs and give you guys some tips. Uh, you can see there, I whenever a behemoth does rapid dashing attacks, uh, usually what I'll do is I'll dodge the first one so that I am 100% ready for the second one rather than try to uh, boop the first one because sometimes... Oh, I actually got hit by that on the way back. I was expecting to break the part first. I totally missed that small arm like 100 times. Ah, I thought I could reload and dodge. I totally did that. Oh, that killed him. Usually if you roll and then immediately reload, you have just enough time to dodge again uh, so you don't need to worry about being out of ammo while you dodge chain and then usually like two to three shots in between each uh, each spiteful evasion gives me the chance at transcendent spite so I'm gonna take that yeah you can usually get two to three shots off between each slam so uh, I'll try to fire those off really quick well, these are both Behemoths that you can kind of take down at. Wow, I can't believe that hit me. You can kind of take down in any order. So I'm not too worried about this fight right now. You gonna donut roll, buddy? Oh, come on, give me an empowered. Nope. You do really have to watch Pangar because he will definitely tail slap you through another behemoth, and Shrike is not that big, so. 
I'm worried about a tail slap. Yep. Ah, oh, okay, I did dodge it. I thought I didn't for a second. What are you doing? Oh, now he's doing a donut roll. There we go. Give me a charge so I can quickly blast him. Uh, normally, I would go for the legs first, but his head happened to be in the way there, so I'm going to go for the head first. And... toast. Yeah, see now, if I was in that position with a full bore, I would have done less damage than that salvo, because it was uh, perpendicular to his body. So, in that particular case, salvo did more damage. And that, that happens uh, a bit more frequently than you might think. Savit, oh boy. I am still not great against Savit, so I guess we'll see how this goes. I don't have all the timing on all his moves down 100%. That is how I how I deal with him with Discipline, though, is I try to position myself at about the spot I think he's going to be when his teleport finishes. Wow, I can't believe that didn't hit me. Uh, so that I can counterpunch him. I don't, what is he doing? Raging, okay. Uh, if you already have all the tails you need, try not to worry about the tail, because it's got most of his health in it. It's easier to spam break his arms and stuff. They have a lot less hit points. And his head. Did I get break his head yet? No, but he's about to die, so... There he goes. Alright, that actually went way better than I thought. Maybe I am starting to learn him a little better. Like, he has that move where he winds up his, uh, his back scythe, and then he stands there for, like, a whole second before he does it. And it's, like, it's really confusing and like, when you need to dodge. Eventually, I'll get used to it. It's kind of like Shroud's dab. He, like, winds his arm really far back, and then he holds it there for, like, a quarter second, and then he swings. It's just something you gotta get used to. Now, when, when I fight Boreas... I usually go for, uh, on a, in a 2 behemoth round, I usually go for Boreas first. Uh, because I know he's going to Frost Armor before I can finish him, most likely. And, uh, wow, he really just jumped straight through that Boreas. Holy crap. That was not something I was expecting to happen. Um, but also, when I fight... Thunderdeep Drask, I usually try to kill him second so I can use the other behemoth as a lightning blast shield anyway, so this just happened to work out. Ow. See, look at that. Soaking up all those lightning blasts. Good boy. Wow, he almost dove right through that. He kind of dove off to the side of him, I guess, but it did seem like he went a little bit through his head. Give me some buffs so I can do some damage to his frost armor. There we go. I also go for Boreas's legs because they don't knock him down, but they do take damage pretty easily and break. Wow, that... What did, what hit me? Was it his rage explosion that hit me? It didn't seem like it was a blast. I guess I'll watch it later in the video. These bombers are really aggravating. Ah, his head lifted up right as the blast came over. That sucks. Alright, now I can deal with this guy. Usually I go for his front arms first. His, uh... I am not getting anywhere close to him right now, because that will one-shot me if I fuck it up. I'm only level 17 on this run, by the way, so... If you're, uh... Trying to figure out damage numbers, uh... Expect more than this if you're level 20, or... If you have, uh... Full... Uh... Banked XP. Alright. His head has more hit points than his arms, but that's all I can shoot at right now. Ah, it still hit me, damn it. I knew that was a possibility, but... I didn't want to mess up that in the initial part of the dodge. Wow, and I was still close enough for that. I really didn't think I was. It does have a pretty big AoE, but that's what I get for being greedy. And you know, you have a lot of leeway on these regular Eskas because you don't really die a lot. So like if you die once, no big deal. Like, god damn it. 
You know, like you got you got the stems to to take it. I always run behind him after he pops out of rage because he will go immediately into uh, that where he shoots the beams. So just holster your weapon and dash behind him as quickly as you can. You can even see where he's going to spawn. There's a little spark on the map that looks like lightning bolts like that. Alright. Wow, unfortunately I didn't get Transcendent Spite, but... That should still be plenty fine. It's just milk. He's cake. Now I wanted to try something, and I 100% don't know if this is going to work, but if I can bait him into a grab here, and see if I can knock it out of him. I ah, it did work, ah, that's funny. Alright, so that's something you can do with, uh, I figured it would work. That's something you can do with, uh, Broadside Lantern. Uh, only, I think that's the only way you can, uh, knock yourself out of a grab right there, with Broadside. Ah, fuck, I was still at the end of my reload animation, unfortunately. I think that was the face. Give me, give me that other wing. That's the other easy thing to hit. Ah. You gonna dash at me like an idiot? No, you're gonna try to eat me again. Ah, my question uh, was off cooldown. I should have let him. Shoot these back at you. Boop you. What? How did that not boop him? I am upset right now. Alright, he did. Uh, well, that's the build. I hope you guys uh, enjoy that. And uh, with that, I will catch you guys later.